Okay, so once you have selected your topic and you have a good idea of what it's about and some of the fundamentals of what you want to prove, then you can start to put together a working thesis statement, which is what I've done here. So the thesis statement that I'm going to work with is virtual learning is not a good alternative to face-to-face -face learning because it requires students to be self-disciplined, struggling students suffer, and all students do not have the same access to technology and Wi-Fi. Um, this may need some work, but I put something on the screen that I can start to work with and start to find evidence to support. This may have to be adjusted at some point throughout the process. But we're going to go ahead and start to find information that supports this one of the aspects of this thesis statement, uh, which would be either um, that it requires students to be self-disciplined, that struggling students suffer, or that all students don't have the same access to technology. So I'm trying to find evidence to support one of those three aspects of my thesis statement, which is what I'm trying to prove. So in the Search Discover database, I found this article. Online classes aren't as effective as being in person with a teacher. Just reading the article title gave me an indication that this is going to support my thesis statement. So article titles can be really powerful and you should read them, read through your search results when you're doing a search and try to get an idea of what that article is about just by reading the article title. This comes from a publication, the Waterloo Region Record. It sounds like a newspaper. It's recent, March 26, 2019. I like that because just because of what's going on, um, these people sound like they might have had some experience with virtual learning and they want to share that information. So I'm going to scroll down here. And as I was reading through, this paragraph caught my eye. So here it says, a report from a researcher at Columbia University Teachers College looked at community college students. It found that online courses are less likely to be completed and overall grades are lower than courses in which the student is face to face with a teacher. So this lack of completion matches which part of my thesis statement. If you guessed students need to be self-disciplined, then you are correct. So I can go ahead and maybe I want to copy that piece of evidence onto my Google Doc. Maybe your teacher provided you with um, a digital note card that you're going to fill out. I'm going to go ahead and copy that information and I'm going to probably paraphrase it at a later time. So you're going to go through and sift through your articles and try to find little nuggets of information like that. And when you find an article that you want to use evidence from, this is really important too. You also want to make sure that you're recording the citation because I can't tell you how many times students have come back to me and said, oh my gosh, Mrs. Conley, I don't know, don't remember where I found that information. If you record the citation along with your evidence, then you are assuring that you'll be able to go back and look at that information again and put it in your work cited. So in order to cite your article, you're going to go ahead and click the cite button. And it creates an ML8. We want to make sure we're in the ML8 citation. And here they created this nice citation for us. We don't even have to do any of the legwork. We could just go ahead and click copy and paste it into wherever you're keeping your information. Um, you may even already have started your Google Slideshow and you can go ahead and copy and paste it to the, to the back slide of that presentation and organize it at a later time as long as you have it recorded. All right, I hope this helps.